Uh, okay, question 10. Uh, business, business class, 299 students. How many friends do you have in a popular media site? 1,000 bootstrap samples of the data and obtain the following histogram. Okay, so just so you know what a bootstrap sample is, let's say you've got a data set. You've got 100 values in it. 100 is fine, but it's not that many values for some statistical tests. Our bootstrap sample method says you use a random number generator, pick one of those 100 people, set it aside, and then use a random number generator again to pick one of those 100 people. That means the first person you picked has a chance of getting selected again. So that's a bootstrap, this bootstrap method. Um, Click for the results. Okay, there's the histogram. What are they asking us to do? 98% confidence interval for the mean number of friends. Uh, and so they give us, they don't even give us the data set, so we can't even run the numbers ourselves. We have to rely on this information here. So if you want a 98% confidence interval, then you have, want to have 1% uh, for the left tail and 1% for the right tail. So 685.864, 685.684 was the left tail 1%. And then 99% means we have 1% to the right. So 781.259, 781.259 goes there. Oh, uh, what do I do? I hit enter. No, it's for grading. Ah. I think it was just in the wrong spot, the wrong spot in uh, my stat lab. So same thing for this one, 98% confidence interval, 718.274 was the lower bound. And then 815.123. Upper bound because it's a 98% confidence interval. So we want 1% to the left and 1% to the right. And then interpret it. Um, there is 98% confidence that the true mean number of friends is within the confidence interval. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see why the other ones are wrong. There is 98% confidence that a randomly selected person will have a number of friends within the confidence interval. Now, when we construct confidence intervals, it's for the true population mean. Okay. 90% uh, of samples will have a mean number of friends in the confidence interval. No, that's not it either. It's a confidence interval tells us where we think the true population mean is. It's not 98% of all people, not 98% of all samples. The full explanation of a confidence interval is that if you were to repeat this, you know, gather a new data set 100 times, then you expect 98 out of 100 times you have the true population mean in it. But we summarize that, and that's really wordy. We wrap that all up by saying there's 98% confidence.